Good evening. <coughs> good evening, good evening. Uh, quick note, because I've been asked about it a lot. Um, if you want to support me financially, don't. Thank you for thinking about it, but uh, don't do it. It'd be, a, it'd be a waste and it won't work. So, <coughs> I just want to say that very quickly and very clearly at the start. Um, Alright. I really need to change this team, and I, I probably will, to be honest. I'll make a request to the admins to uh, drop this team and change them to something else, because, quite frankly, I don't want to keep playing them. Um, so, uh, I'll just leave that speak for itself. I'll leave that up there so you can guys can see. Soviet Kislev are playing against some Lizardmen today. <coughs> And I couldn't afford to replace the Blitzer, so I don't know, maybe I'll put this team through, fuck it. Oh, I kind of feel like I should drop this team, though, but I don't know. So my team looks like this. we got uh, two Mighty Blows, both on Blitzers, and we've got a plus strength on a Lineman, and otherwise there are no level ups yet. Obviously Babushka is still uh, the star player, even though she hasn't managed to level up. And I'm playing against Hakurin's Lizardman. I think I've played Hakurin before, but I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. There's a, there's a small chance we haven't, and considering that we have no um, DM history, maybe maybe we really haven't played before. But, um, but yeah, so there's a Skinquid block, there's a Skinquid wrestle, and there's nothing else happening here. So it's not a <coughs> it's not an overly worrying team. Uh, I don't think he's going to join me in chat, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to check into him very quickly. Um, oops. Okay, he, uh, right, okay, I'll send the invite, I guess. I guess he's not joining me in chat, because he's responded with just a thumbs up, so... Let's say invite sent, even though I haven't done it yet, and then uh, let's start match. <coughs> so obviously best luck to the Lizardman. Uh, but, uh, we'll see what we do with, we'll see what we can do with, um... With what we have, essentially. And we both can have a journeyman. This game, at least. So there's going to be a Germany, journeyman skink on a Lisbon team, and there's going to be a journeyman lineman on my team. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens there. In case anybody missed it from the last time, I'm not doing the accent anymore, and um, I refuse to. I know that a lot of you guys asked for that. I actually need to remove that from. I forgot to remove it from the um, uh, things that you can. Uh, pay for with channel points. Actually, I need to I need to get rid of that when I think about it, and I will. But um, I haven't done it yet. <coughs> but well, we'll uh, we'll play we'll play a game of Blood Bowl as we usually do, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good time against uh, somebody who, at the very least, I haven't played in a very long time. Maybe I've never played before. I I really don't remember. And cheers to everybody, because I'm drinking. Um, I'm drinking causal, and I'm drinking real causal from the Czech Republic, which is um, not sponsored, obviously. <laughs> but uh, so I don't know. I felt like pointing out that I'm drinking. Uh, I'm drinking Czech beer from the Czech Republic because I might not be able to do that soon. That's the main reason. <coughs> okay, let's. Uh, oops, wrong button. Let's do this thing. Hey, we get to receive. Great. Um, we chose to receive, yeah. Hey yo, good luck, have fun. Yeah, good. Cheers. I just need to double check, actually. No, he, he doesn't want to chat. I do keep a, uh, I do keep checking this. <coughs> I always, um, I always actually warn the coach that I'm playing against that uh, they're welcome to uh, join me in chat if they want to, but there's no pressure to do so, obviously, because not everybody wants to be part of a stream. Which is totally understandable. Um, obviously, for, you, for some of you, it's not a problem, and for some of you, it is a big problem, and uh, it's worth uh, <coughs> it's worth looking at it both ways. I put the wrong thing on, didn't I? Yes, I did. Let's have that. So we got our loner back here. It's interesting, and we're going to do our best to. Do some damage on this front line, of course, but uh, it's not the it's not the end of the world if we don't. Hey, Newt. Oh, and you got chipped today, which is uh, you know interesting. 
Uh, I haven't had a cat shift in a long while, actually. I forgot to, I forgot the procedure, but it was good. Um, it was uh, good watching it happening and remembering how it happens. So that means that um, he's available for international travel, which you know will be cool. And uh, it's really, it's really good that we got that done. <coughs> right, we got a, we got a. What's that called? Quick snap. That's what it's called. Yeah. My head is working completely properly. Of course it is. What are you asking me for? Yeah. Um, we'll actually make these blocks possible, and that's actually a good idea, isn't it? <coughs> Probably. What's his name? Leonid Antonovich. Okay. We won't be keeping Leonid, probably, but still worth knowing. Let's take these blocks first, because the ball is kind of safe at the moment, to be fair. Oh, Mighty Blue does a thing. It's a stunny thing, but it's a thing. Okay, it only does one thing, but that was uh, that was enough things to do, to be fair. We'll also take this blitz, I think, and I guess we'll do that now, actually. Fine. The game's a little bit laggy. I hope the stream's okay, because the internet is uh, showing that it's having a bit of issues. <coughs> one thing that I should point out that uh, has been hinted at, but it hasn't been officially announced yet. Um, I might lose access to YouTube and Twitch, just to let you know. So uh, if I if I suddenly go quiet, it's probably not by choice, but uh, it's the it's the way that uh, things are at the moment. And we've already lost access to some of the other global websites. Um, that might be another thing. I'm going to keep watching it using a VPN. But uh, I don't think I'll be able to upload on YouTube for much longer. So just worth keeping that in mind. If you are um, if you are somebody who watches me on YouTube, uh, it's something that is probably going to be blocked. Um, but like I said, there's been no official confirmation of that yet. It's just been announced for now, as a as kind of an implicit idea. So just keep that in mind. There's a small chance that I'll go quiet anyway, because things are changing quickly here. Uh, you know, all these things can... Uh, anything can happen at this stage, so nobody knows. So just worth thinking about that as well. Some things can change very quickly. But I hope I'll still have access to Twitch at least, so at the very least I can keep streaming. Because, uh, you know, streaming is good for keeping my sanity at the moment. And good distraction. Good distraction is good. I also want to thank everybody who has been um, concerned, and they've showed it. Uh, I appreciate the concern you've shown. And I appreciate the various offers of help that you've offered as well. Uh, I appreciate all of this. It's um, it's very much appreciated, but uh, for now at least Simon and I are fine. And Newt as well. All three of us are, you know, we're doing okay. If you are somebody who desperately wants to support, then uh, please redirect that support to people currently in need. Just find a charity that you like, or a um, institution that you like, where you can do the most good, and that would be, um, that would be fine by me. That would probably be the best way you can support right now. <coughs> right, what are we doing? We are doing this. Yes.
I'm slightly less talkative than usual because, to be honest, I don't know what to say at this stage. That's a, that's one thing, but um, I don't know. So we'll talk about Blood Bowl, I guess. Yeah, that's, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? So, um, <coughs> there's a stun. Um, <coughs> we're going for a setup here where we're hopefully going to make a little bit of a push for this front line. We'll try and get a touchdown. But um, to be honest, I partially hope this team loses. So that's always worth keeping in mind. Um, but, uh, you know, Hercurian is, uh, Hercurian is somebody in gold, I think, at the moment, so he's obviously a uh, worthy coach in general. He knows what he's doing. Do you want to foul? I might want to foul. I might, um, no. I kind of do, but no. End, end turn. There we go. <coughs> So Crocscore being on the ground really helps actually, and the, the, the Bonehead also helped because it means that the Crocscore can't get into a useful position, and it gave me quite a lot of space here. Generally speaking, this is what I want to do to my opponent, keep them on one side, so you know they can't uh, they can't get through. It's a tactic that I like to employ. But I do have Leap on this team, and in general I'm not afraid of having a fight with some little skinks, because skinks tend to break if you can hit them. The main thing is that the Sora, I only get one or two blocks per turn, though. That's uh, that's mostly what I'm focusing on, because I'm not going to win a battle of attrition here, of course. <coughs> not easily, at least. And Roman is going to be kind of useful to me, this plus strength dude, because... Um <coughs> well, because the strength the strength is just helpful, essentially. Let Nikolai Grishin. Nikolai Bushka, of course. I'm just checking names, because uh, I feel like uh, Konstantin Zhurov, Viktor, and Ivan Ustinov. Okay. <coughs> Ah, one thing that I was... Um, one thing is worth mentioning that uh, a lot of my, the majority at the moment at least, of my Russian-based students are still having lessons. So that's good for the most part. And tomorrow actually I get a card that is not based on Swift, which is also kind of useful. I get an internal card for one of my banks. Which means that actually we have a we have some financial security for some time actually. So for everybody who's really worried, because people have really been asking me, um, we're we're really okay. We have some security for some time. So try not to worry too much if you are. As for the recaps as well, um, I don't know if I'm going to manage next week. I, I, I want to, but um, I don't know how realistic it's going to be to keep doing that going forward, especially especially obviously if they start cracking down on what's happening on the internet, which uh, they seem to be want to do at the moment. Uh, we will. I don't like it, but we will. <coughs> so it's also worth uh, just... Um, just keeping that in mind, and if somebody wants to take over the recaps, by all means, let me know, so I don't even have to worry about it. I'm willing to, I'm willing to give it to anybody who thinks they can, thinks they can fill that gap. It would take a, it would take a weight off my mind actually, so I, I wouldn't mind that at all. Do you want it, Lona? I kind of want it, Lona, but uh, it'll just be next turn. <coughs> Eh, darn. That's a shame. Do we take this one die? Probably. Yes, we do. Oh, 
Obviously, recapping can be in any way that, uh, any way, shape, or form that you want to take over. But uh, if somebody is wanting to take over, then by all means, let me know. It'll save me a bit of time on Tuesdays. Damn! I was hoping I'd break him. Now I've given them a block on this guy, which is not ideal. That was kind of expected. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry, I'm having problems with my chest today. Apparently, I do seem to be having more and more uh, more and more pressure in my in my lungs, which is not ideal. <coughs> it's gotten worse over the last couple of weeks. Hopefully, it's temporary. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, it is a, it is a permanent issue. It's not going to go away. But um, still, it's uh, it's been yeah, it's been a little bit worse than usual, probably due to stress, which I guess is kind of normal. Which way are we going? That way? Probably that way. Ah, okay, that's intriguing. Yeah, I was expecting the surf, obviously, but pfft, whatever. Bye bye. He's fine. Let's see where the ball goes and we'll go from there. Whoppa. Ugh. Oh. Oh. We almost had Cox's score again then. <coughs> now it's between the Cox score and the bear. Just to make a, just to make things particularly exciting, apparently. That would have been totally worth it if the Croc School got hold of it. That would have uh, that would have made some, for some entertainment for a little but for a little while at least. But not this time around. Who's watching me right now then? It's interesting, my instant says that uh, there's a poor network connection, but uh, as far as I can see watching it on tablet, it's fine. So if there are any problems, I apologize for that. Uh, the internet is not very strong, apparently, but it really looks fine. Hey, Deadshots, good to see you. How are you doing? You having a good evening? Anything exciting happening? Your holiday's over now, actually, yeah? I think so. Anyway, yeah, good to have you around. Good to see you. Oh, giving it to the loner. Interesting. Interesting. I'm doing fine. Holiday stuff is indeed over. That's a shame. I mean, it has to end eventually, of course, but still, you know, still a shame. Okay, lots of dodging. Dodging is good, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, very nice. The way that it should work, I guess. That's fair. Let's stick you there. We'll do that first. Hopefully the bear will do this. Yes, it will. Good. Okay, I want this guy to do that. <coughs> Could have moved to learn it first, but never mind. Better. Uh, we'll stay. Not the ideal ball, but we'll take it. I gotta fire this team. Yeah, 
I'm really going to make a request, I think, to change this team. I'm actually depressed playing them, but oh well. Um, <coughs> well, whatevs. We'll, we'll, try and, uh, we'll try and get a small result out of this at least, and then we'll see. I'll try leaping. Because that's what Kislev does best. Do's best, yeah. I said I said do's I think, and I'm sticking with it. Yeah. No surprise there. Totally expected, totally deserved. So that's fine. <coughs> I need to find a way to Hang on, there may be some sand in the background for a second. Just uh, just ignore it if that's the case. I'm just AFK. One sec. I'm not AFK. I'm off the screen, I should say. I want to check something. It's going to take me a second. Never mind. Nothing. Nothing worth checking. Stun is a problem. It means the ball is going to be a little bit more complicated to get hold of. And for anybody who's not big on um, Warhammer lore, actually, the Kislev team is the old Slan team. So they used to actually be leaping frogs, which is why there's a lot of jokes in the. Uh, rundowns when, especially when we look at um, uh, Nibanon's team, definitely not frogs, uh, because they are the the team is actually based on the Slan in the old rules, but uh, for some reason Cyanide and all of their logic decided to make them dancing Russian Kislevites instead of frogs. My my main theory is because you know the frog idea is anti-France and it's a French company. I may be reading too much into it, but still. But, um, you know, they sidestepped a... Uh, dog shit to step off a cliff. Yeah, let's use that analogy. So no real kicker fishes in this one. I don't know. I think uh, I think the skinks come pretty close to real kicker fishes, but... Uh, yeah, not really. There's no... Um, there's no frog team or kicker fisher team. A Grodingle, or whatever other word you want to use. Pullets. Good old tadpoles. This game has come pretty close, though, to be fair. They come pretty close. Yeah, but the Lizardmen, the Lizardmen are more based on, you know, like Aztec, Incan, Mayan culture. I don't think they're particularly based on one race, but they seem to be race based on all of these races together. South American, basically. Indigenous South American people. <coughs> Blah. Blah blah blah. Okay, now we need to do that then, which is a shame. Shit. Okay, that's not gonna work. May as well follow. Makes that a one dice actually that wasn't so smart, but never mind. So this is our blitz. And we'll try leaping into this gap here. Good. Eh, that's good. But it'll have to do. The fact that the block skink has the has the ball is, is a small problem. A small problem that may well become a slightly bigger problem. Got that one at least. 
that's our old so shame. Alright, we got another stun out of it. And you. Probably here. Alright, now we'll take this one dice then. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Got a stun out of it, alright then. Uh, has my instant stabilized? It has! Okay, it's instant is stabilized finally, so it should be better now. I think I know why the internet isn't working very well. But, um. I hope I'm wrong about why. <coughs> but I think I know why it's not working very well. That's a shame. That's enough for the block skink to get away. Yeah, the delay is always going to be an issue because uh, the instant here in general is weaker now. Um, which is actually a huge problem. Especially because they have to do a lot of things um, in a roundabout way. Because uh, a lot of internet functions are uh, sanctioned and or blocked, so you need to you need to stabilize in different ways at the moment. Uh, that takes a variety of things, and I do most of them, so it does mean that the internet is slower in general. Um, in general, I keep chat delay on just to give the computer the best chance at not struggling through the stream. Essentially. So, um, yeah, that's that's all I can that's all I can really say about that. So I am regularly distracted by my phone or my tablet doing things because. Uh, I get a lot of pings recently, and it's as much as I would like to ignore them for the most part, it's not always so easy. On the plus side, there were no fireworks today, though, <coughs> and they haven't actually been since the since that one time, actually. And Newt is sleeping, which is very strange, because usually when usually when I'm working on this kind of stuff, Newt decides to be really loud, and today he's not being. So that's uh, that's also quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Where's he going then? Down here somewhere? This is good. This is also good, but this is better, because I can't leap. You give me the leap option? Nice of you. No, fireworks is good, exactly. Yeah. It's um it's not the time of year for fireworks, though we did have uh, we do have the eighth of March celebration in a couple of days to be fair, so there probably will be fireworks then, but for that'll be expected, at least, so it won't be quite as uh It won't be as much of a problem, basically. It'll be expected. Uh, I forget I forget which holiday the 8th of March is. I think it's Ladies' Day. So, you know, that's that's good too. They give me the Blitz, so I'm going to take it. <coughs> Work, you stupid thing. There we go. Cool. That didn't work. Well, that uh, that kind of sucks, especially because this guy's up, which is not really what I want. So they have a chance of breaking my catcher, 
Sounds like a fun day, Ladies' Day. Do you not have Ladies' Day in the Netherlands? It's kind of a it's kind of an international holiday. It's not a big deal in Britain. Never has been. But um, it's kind of an international holiday around Europe in general. It's a big thing in the Czech Republic, in Poland, in Ukraine, Belarus, anywhere Slavic, basically. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, there you go. You can make fun of him that uh, his birthday is on Lady Th Ladies' Day. Makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, most Slavic countries celebrate it at the very least, but I think it's also a um, uh, a Balkan holiday that's well celebrated. I also think it's quite common in the Baltics. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in Norseland and uh, Scandinavian land as well, because I, I actually think it comes from Viking heritage. A lot of holidays, most things not celebrated on the streets, but in half. Yeah, it's it's not a, it's not like a huge deal on the eighth of um, eighth of March, but uh, it's at least well, you know, there's quite a lot of um. <laughs> one thing about Russia is that there's quite a lot of uh, black catting here, where you know everybody wants to have a slightly bigger story to tell about their experiences, about their holiday, about the money they earn, etc. It's very common. So like if you say that you've been on holiday somewhere, then somebody will say, oh, I've been there once, and they'll tell you a, a nice and big story that is uh, even more impressive than the one that you've told. It's quite a common situation. You see taxi drivers like with a... Uh, with a... Uh, fuck, what's the word? A Rolex, when they definitely can't afford it, and it's the same kind of, um, it's the same kind of reasoning. So whenever you say something, you know, you gotta you gotta make it bigger. The next person, and then the next person, whoever speaks last, they gotta have the best story. It's a very common, um, it's a very common Russian thing. So Ladies' Day is a uh, is one of these things where you've kind of got to do something for the ladies in your life so that they can tell a good story in the in the office, for example. I don't know how many people are gonna care this year, but still, it's uh it's worth uh, it's worth keeping in mind if you ever end up with a. Slavic lady in your life. Not everybody's like that, obviously, but um, it's definitely something that everybody talks about, unfortunately, from a male perspective. We don't personally celebrate it that much, though. Maybe Newt will give us something, I don't know. Maybe Newt will outshine me. Newt tends to outshine me, to be fair, so quite possibly. Eh, I guess we're gonna blitz with Babushka. I don't, I don't really care. So yeah. <coughs> Follow, and we'll block this skink because we can. And we'll block this skink because we maybe can. Nope. Lag is in game, by the way. The, the Blood Bowl is actually lagging a bit, which is kind of annoying. The computer has been on all day, to be fair, and I have been uh, I have been using it quite a lot. I had a I had a lesson in Euro Truck Simulator earlier, for example, because the particular student needed a uh, needed some distraction as well. So it was a good way of it was a good way of uh, making up for conversation, basically, just having a conversation while we were driving together. I actually quite like the um. So my Eurotruck Simulator, actually, I quite like the convoy system that they set up. I thought it was going to be worse than it was. Uh, at first, it actually looked like you couldn't see each other, which was really weird. But after we played it for a bit, it became clear that you can you can do the same job, literally, as a convoy, uh, up to eight people, which is pretty good. Or you can just be driving around in the same world as eight, peop eight people, you know, it, just if you happen to bump into somebody, it's pretty good. I guess it's the same in the American Truck Simulator, but I don't care as much about driving around America. Never been there, don't plan to go there, so not so interesting. The in-game MP is pretty good, we tried it. Well, if you try it again, then um, maybe I'll join you guys, because... Um, yeah, I actually quite liked it. Uh, um, I, I drive with the keyboard, which is a really terrible idea, to be fair, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was still pretty good, actually. Uh, we, we quite enjoyed it, and it was nice driving together and just chatting. Pretty good. Would recommend to anybody who is a trucker. Uh, a trucker simulator. Simulated trucker. Strucker. I don't know. 
I don't know what word to use. A crazy person who plays truck simulator. There we go. That's the best word. Oh, really? Okay. <coughs> okay, cool. That makes things interesting. I'll let you know when, not sure if it's anytime soon, could also be this weekend. Oh, really? I don't care about driving recklessly. You've seen the clip where I'm driving in St. Petersburg and I'm drunk. Okay, not drunk, but drinking. I dri like I just told you, I drive with a keyboard. <laughs> it's impossible not to drive. And I drive with a keyboard where the S key often falls apart. So, you know, sometimes my brake doesn't work. And when you have to brake quickly, that's obviously a problem. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll think about that. And if you do it the weekend, that'll probably be good. I have a game one day, Friday, Saturday, Saturday I don't know. Right, what the hell am I going to do here? Um, <coughs> I'm going to let him score, because I don't care. That's what I'm going to do. You don't need to ask any space baron for the handbrake. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Fine. That worked. <coughs> I can say that uh, I definitely drive much better than my than my student, though he just doesn't understand the physics behind it. He drives a he drives his truck like he drives a race car in GTA, i.e., badly. He can't drive in G yeah, GTA either, which is really funny to me. It's actually quite easy to drive in GTA V when you um, when you understand how the controls work. But your truck simulator is more realistic, obviously. And a truck is not a sports car, especially when you have a big ass trailer on the back of it. So I don't know, it could be fun. It could be even better that, you know, we um we all have this chaotic energy, we're all driving like idiots. Me too. <laughs> ah yeah. Right, it's his drive, yes. I'm gonna leave Roman Antonovich on the uh, no, uh, uh, Bramov, sorry, on the front line because I hope he dies. Um, and otherwise, we're going to stick to a fairly basic setup, like so. Yeah, something like so. I have a cheap steering wheel, but it only has a 180 degrees turning radius, so it doesn't really work for non rally games. Fair enough. I have considered buying a wheel many times, it's impossible at the moment, but I have considered doing it. I also want to buy a, um, what I really want to buy actually is a yoke for flying, because um, I always had a dream of learning to fly a plane actually, really fly a plane, and I much prefer the idea of practicing in a simulator before I practice in the real thing, because, you know, there's slightly less chance of death and causing death. Only one block and one rest across both teams. This match has been very light on turnovers. Has indeed. <coughs> Even a cheap steering wheel though is better than no steering wheel because the uh, the controller that I have doesn't actually work. I tend to fly with a controller because flying with the keyboard is impossible. Uh, and it's very difficult to land actually with a controller because it's very difficult to get a, um, uh, a suitable sensitivity. And driving in general, uh, yeah, I find it pretty bad in your truck. It's impossible to to keep control of your positioning without going all over the road, essentially. Driving like you're drunk, essentially. I may switch to simulators at some point, if I ever manage to replace this computer and focus more on those kind of games, because I prefer the idea of playing relaxed games at this stage and avoiding any game that involves death and destruction. <coughs> Even Settlers was hard, to be honest. <coughs> I think I'm going to keep up with Settlers still, though, because uh, I do enjoy that game. And it's uh, it's distant enough that it works.
That's a bad ball. For me. Unless it falls directly behind, then it's pretty good. And a quick snap back, that's uh that's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. I'm running the ad break anybody who's watching on stream afterwards because um I don't know. I prefer getting it out of the way instead of just letting it run on its own randomly. I know that if you're subscribed, it's not going to be a problem for you. If you're watching on YouTube, it's not going to be a problem for you as well. Shit. Well, <coughs> there we go. Touchback. I'm still thinking about removing this team because uh, I don't know. I hate this team at the moment. <coughs> Nothing against Blipple. I just kind of hate playing this team. I'll go and die. Die. I didn't name him actually, I let the, I let the um, naming situation name everybody themselves, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I can keep that player. Don't kill Babushka though. Babushka's still good. Babushka's a but good bear. She drinks lots of vodka. Okay, she's fine. Saurus has the ball again, because yeah, there was the um there was the touchback actually, which makes perfect sense of course, and he is somebody who will level up if he manages to score. So, you know, hopefully her current gets that. We'll block this pillar, I suppose, or blitz this pillar, whatever the word is I want to use. Yeah, blitz, blitz makes more sense. Hey, go make fun of a coxigore. Congratulations. Yeah. I was thinking actually, I haven't played a rally game in a long time. I haven't actually played a proper uh, driving simulator for like a car or a racing game. I think I have um, I have one of the driving simulator games. I think I have... Um, shit, what was that game called? Um, I don't remember. I'll check after this turn. I do a uh, project cars, that's what it's called. I do a project cars, I never actually got into it. Maybe I should have a deeper look at that one to be fair. Um, there we go. I have a load of driving simulators in general, like um, spin tires. I don't have the snow one, I consider it though. I have both uh, truck simulators. What else? I don't know. I like simulators in general. They're usually my relaxation play for myself games. <laughs> I did consider I did consider streaming some Euro Truck, but uh, laptop can't handle it, obviously. <coughs> I had a go. It didn't work very well, and then I, I left it alone after that. It was fun when I did it. Uh, I did actually manage to talk the whole time when I was driving, which is good. Like I say, I do also sometimes have uh, lessons with a student playing this game. 
as well. And if I happen to be part of a convoy, it actually sounds like it'd be pretty good. I know your truck at least runs, unlike Sea of Thieves. I can't get that running properly anymore. Yeah, that may happen with every game I have, basically, though, to be fair, on this laptop. Obviously, buying parts for a laptop at the moment is not a, is not an option. Both for saving money reasons and also because, uh, well, you just can't get hold of these things. And if you do get hold of them, they're really expensive. Die! Damn. Oh, well, he's gone at least. <coughs> wanted to buy Snowrunners, but it's expensive for the amount of times I would play it. Yeah, I have the same problem, basically. It's also why I didn't buy Snowrunners. I did think about it. I did buy Frostpunk ages ago. I didn't play that properly. It was a good game, though. It had a, it had a very good atmosphere. Um, and yeah, overall it was uh, it's something I'd like to get into a little bit more because I like games like um, I like games like Banished as well. You know these kind of things where you take a group of survivors and uh, make a community work again. So I may play a little bit more Frostpunk. I may see if I can stream that actually. That could be interesting. Because it's more about it's more about survival than about um, conflict, where settlers you have to end up fighting eventually. Um, I hope that doesn't show up on stream. No, good. Just had to check. Sorry, because I I would have to fix that immediately if that showed up on stream. Yeah, okay. No, I think we're good. Um, <coughs> I'll respond to that later. I'll have to check the VOD as well, actually. Sorry, I'm just waiting for it to catch up. Doesn't look like it, though. I think we're fine. Well, if you saw something, ignore it. Well, tell me you saw it, actually, and then ignore it. Um, Frostpunk is pretty heavy. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and play it again. I'll see if it's uh, I'll see if it's fine. Yeah, let's go hit the Croxical. Can't hit the Croxical, you idiot. Okay, let's go stand on the Croxical. I've already I've already blitzed. And I didn't realize because I'm a moron. back? Apparently not. Yeah, I don't think it showed up. I think we're fine. <coughs> Who's online? There's a few people online. Just looking for who to uh, who to raid into when we're done as well, because that's obviously going to be something. Didn't see anything, but I also wasn't really looking at the stream at, the, at that moment. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it showed up. I'll have to, I'll have to watch back, though, and check. You could probably go back two minutes, actually. I don't have that option at the moment. But uh, no, I, I'll, I'll, I'll check it later. Don't worry. It shouldn't be showing any overlays, so it shouldn't show. Cage up again. Obviously, I have leap, which I might use, might not. He's gonna get a shot at. I gave him a free shot at Mikhail, which is really stupid, but never mind. Um, meh. Just never mind. That was the whole sentence. I can only really blitz in and get a half dice anyway, so I don't know if I'm even gonna bother trying to stop the ball. I'm 
gonna try and stop the ball, but I mean, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be so heartbroken if I don't manage to. Hmm. Good beer by the way. It's really um it's really causal as opposed to the casual that uh is made in Russia, so it does actually taste better than the Russian brewed stuff. Even though in theory it's the same beer. <coughs> I've already run out of the option to buy um, Bellhaven. There's not much Guinness left. Uh, we did have Kilkerney the other day actually, but you know a lot of the a lot of the import stuff is gone now. So we could switch to vodka. But I don't know. A lot of the um, a lot of the stuff that uh, a lot of the stuff that the wife and I like uh, already gone. I hope you can't hear her in the background. Actually, she's on the phone. <laughs> uh, my my wife tends to be loud, especially when she laughs, which I love her for, to be clear. But uh, you know, it, it does come up. It didn't show up, thanks. I appreciate it. That actually has put my mind at ease a bit, and I don't uh, think about it anymore this stream, so thank you. It's a new um, it's a new application, that's why I wasn't sure. But yeah, the overlay isn't showing at all, so it shouldn't be an issue. But you never know. Are we going to do the crazy thing? We're probably going to do the crazy thing, aren't we? Doing the crazy thing sounds like fun, to be fair. We don't have a good um we don't have a good angle, that's the main issue. Yeah. We'll try it. Can't hear her. Okay, good. Uh when she laughs you might. Because she has a she has a very um She has a very emotive laugh. I'll say that. It's a, it's a really positive thing. There's obviously the uh, there's obviously the meme that Russians never smile, but not in my experience. My wife and especially her friends they laugh a lot, they smile a lot, and uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of joy actually, generally speaking. Yeah. Oh, we got a double push. We'll take it. <coughs> Yeah, and in terms of smiling, my, my wife smiles an awful lot, which is great. And as it should be. And I hope that never changes. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of changed recently, but I mean, long term, I hope it never changes. Not a stereotypical Russian at all. I'm more stereotypically Russian than she is, <coughs> which is something that uh, that our friends say to us as well, actually. I don't know. I keep emotions closed mostly, so you know. Not afraid of them or anything. Just um, I don't know. Given my history, I suppose I've learnt to I've learnt to keep it mostly inside. But not in an unhealthy way. If I need to let it out, I let it out. But if not, then I don't. <coughs> Interesting. Using skinks to guard still. Hmm. Alright. Skinks is a pillar on the on a cage. It's you know it's it's a thing. <laughs> Actually, there was the funny moment uh, for anybody who is a Blood Bowl player. There was a funny moment when um, Kobe, somebody who also streams, he thought this was a relaxing and chill game. That's just me. It's not a, it's not the game itself. It's very difficult to relax and chill with this game. I find it difficult too sometimes, but uh, I don't know. I learned to laugh at it a long time ago. That's why I'm so chill when I play it. I much prefer the I much prefer the silly side of it than the serious side of it, personally. 
I can't believe you can't you can't hear actually. I can hear it clearly even through the headphones. <laughs> but okay. That is good. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm used to it. Maybe it's Maybelline. That was bad even for me. Never mind. Oh, that's a bad time to burn it. Well, it's not actually. He's completely secure, to be fair, and I don't care about stopping him, quite frankly. But you know, it's uh. Yeah, let me get the uh, let me get the catcher out of there at least. Hey. Armor is holding really well. Go away. There we go. <coughs> Can I stop this? Not really. Do I care? Not really. I don't know. Need to mostly work on. Um, I don't know what I must need to work on. I just, uh, I don't know. This feels like a weird game already. Mm. Let's, uh, let's force him to score at least, I guess. Of course, come off track set this season. Maybe. I guess we'll go for this, just because we can. Come on, game. Work a bit better than you are. You kind of annoy me, to be frank. I am blitz because I'm stupid. Yeah. I can blitz here then. I'll take a one dice blitz on this guy too. Why not? Why not? He says. That's why not. Meh, not so bad. Not so bad. Oh. Yeah, people alive. I, I know. I can see the alive. Thanks. Worth knowing, I guess, but still. So, four turns left. Are we going to stop him? Probably not. I'm going to play your truck simulator again after this. Just to uh, relax and calm down. I am calm actually, but just to just to relax. I'm going to play some Euro truck after this. It's always good when you be drinking, playing Euro truck. You know, it's the it's the best time to try and preserve your lorry. Fair enough. Well, I probably will risk the uh, the half die to be fair. What else are we rolls for? I guess. I think this one die first, maybe. Mm. I'm not sure. Could even blitz. No, I can't blitz actually. Hmm. All right. Relax. Calm down. And ram some random vehicles off the road. My road. My road. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, that's a kill. Hmm. Don't have too many good avenues here, to be fair. 
Let's try and take that. No, never mind then. Let's try and take that then. That's fine. You can lock up these two. You can only really lock up these guys, but why not? Get you here for good measure. Go on, Babushka. I now suddenly have a Christmas song from the Czech Republic in my head for some freaking reason. Never mind. Um, bit of a weird timing for it, and I don't really know why, but still, it's in my head. Oh well, that failed. Let's try that again. That failed again. Alright then. I kind of miss Czech Republic, actually. It's been a lot of years, though. And my, uh, my my Czech language has gotten abysmal over the years. Christmas isn't for a while. It's just been. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's true. I don't know, wh I don't know why. Um, Babushka reminded me of it, because uh, a big part of the song is um, singing about different family members. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas is coming. Let's all celebrate. Friends. For another year, Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming. Uh, everybody be happy? <laughs> uh, something like that. And then, you know, all about uh, uncles doing crazy things, aunts doing crazy things, grandmas baking stuff. The, the best paragraph actually is about the uncle, where He's drunk and he sets fire to the Christmas tree. And then there's a part of the song. This is for kids, by the way. And then there's a part of the song where they're talking about using a fire extinguisher to put the fire out. It's a great song if you if you <laughs> if you want to have a look at the translation of the lyrics. It's really good, actually. It's, it's probably my favorite uh, Christmas song of all time, but it's much better when you understand it. Not like the stupid British songs, you know, where they get. Uh, Mostly religious, to be fair, but sometimes you also have these just really weird lyrics. I don't remember all the lyrics, to be fair, but I remember the main ones. Yeah, good old Czech Republic. Maybe we should spend some time in the Netherlands, actually. Learn a little bit about uh, learn a little bit about that culture. Learn a bit a bit of the language, because I, I don't know too much. I know Kikavisha at least, I think that's the most important word to know, but you know. There are other things that I, I don't know. Hotnavand. Yeah, I know some basics, but still, you know. I should probably learn a little bit more than I know. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm pretending I'm playing Blood Bowl. Okay then. Is there a song for the holiday that you just had? You know, like um, telling people to drink more? Fine. Hey, we got one. Coffin fish. Well, Babushka got a, got a level up there. Not a level up. No, she just got SPP. She didn't get level up at all. I'm lying. No level up, just, uh, just two SPP. Mm, Dutch culture. culture. Eat potato mash while wearing wooden sandals inside of a windmill. Wouldn't it be more fun to eat mashed potatoes while wearing wooden sandals on top of a windmill, just going around with the with the blades? Now that sounds like a holiday. Oh god, songs. A lot of them. Most covers are based on German. Schlager or Apreski songs. Apreski songs, yeah, I believe it. Still, you know. Well, to be honest, the Czech Republic is kind of the same. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of German influence there as well. 
Slightly less, but still. Round and round. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You got it. I don't know. It just sounds. It just sounds very Dutch. Just eating mashed potatoes while, yeah, you know, going around on the blades of the windmill. Yeah, sounds good. That's what you want from life. Yeah, not enough beer. Should have bought more beer. I only had two. Wasn't good. Need more. Uh, I actually spoke about being concerned about my drinking a couple of days ago. I've I've gotten better. I haven't been drinking so much, but um, I decided that tonight we could, because uh, we might not be able to have it anytime soon. Like I said, and it does help sleep. It's not a it's not the best way to help you sleep, I'll admit, but uh, it does help, at least in my case. And sleeping is good. It's always worth remembering that sleeping is good, even if it's never been particularly important to me, to be honest. Yeah, let's do it that way. Screw it. Hey, dodge worked. That didn't. Yeah, let's re-roll. My stomach starts to protest when hearing the word beer after the last few days. Uh, yeah. I believe that. No, wine is fine too. Vodka, rum, I don't know. And Malibu or something. Malibu, that was a choice, wasn't it? I don't know. Alright, there we go. <coughs> Let's finish this game. <coughs> I don't really know why I decided to stream tonight. It wasn't such a good idea. It's been a long day. And Stuff with a vet. I kind of feel like I need to do it though, to be honest. That's the main reason why I'm still streaming. Just so the people who are concerned know that everything is fine. Everything is fine. Well, maybe I've been replaced with a clone or something, but no, I don't think so. If I have, I guess I wouldn't know. And the clone would probably have a stronger Russian accent, to be fair, so I guess no. A real Russian accent, I mean, not the not the fake kind. Good job. <laughs> yeah, the current's been pretty quiet, but overall, you know, he's been a he's been a good sport. I'll give him a I'll give him a pretty high score on the on the good sport table. <coughs> ha ha ha. Anyway, cheers on the last turn to Deadshot's stomach. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I think a clone would have the fake one. Yeah, maybe. Well, the funniest thing about a Russian accent is that uh, no Russian has what most Westerners imagine as a Russian accent. I haven't met a single Russian who has that accent. That's why I always call it a Hollywood Russian accent as opposed to actually a Russian accent. Russians sound quite different. My wife has a pretty strong accent, for example, but she doesn't sound what people would consider to be Russian. She sounds Russian, really Russian, but uh, she doesn't sound what people imagine a Russian sounds like. Whereas some of my friends, they actually sound, you know, American, Australian, British. They, they, a lot of my friends have really good English. And colleagues, of course. <coughs> um, I don't even want to get a one one turn, to be honest. We're just going to... We're just going to let this one go. I'm going to try and replace this team for next week, because... Um, I don't know. I don't want to play this team. It was a funny joke when I made it. It's not a funny joke anymore. That's the main reason. That just makes me a bit sick playing this team, to be honest. So I'm probably gonna, <coughs> I'm probably gonna try and uh, cut this team out or just give up on this team, one way or the other. I'll have a word with the admins and see what they say. Oops, we dropped the ball. Oh, 
we didn't manage to kill the loner. I was kind of hoping that we would. And I used the loner for some reason. That was stupid, but oh well. Stay! Hey, the loner got a KO. Alright then, and we'll take this block for fun. Because blocking is fun, apparently. Uh, I didn't give myself a blitz, that was stupid, but never mind. And we'll finish off with a pass. So. There we go. Oh, well, that failed. I should have said good game before. I, 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 I just assumed that the pass would, f would succeed for some bloody reason. So a good game occurring, if you watch this after the fact, if I post it on YouTube, don't know if I will. I probably will, but still. <coughs> well done, Lizards, good win. Well deserved. Yada yada. Oh, I can't just say Yeah. Good game. There we go. Did that work? I don't know. Ah, now it did. There we go. It's just uh, not working very well, apparently. So, in terms of SPP, Overgrown Fish got um, 11, and we got uh, 7. So, there we go. Well played. Yeah, thanks. That game was not well played. I know it was not well played. <laughs> I'm very much aware that it was not well played, but that's fine. So... Constantine got mad of the match. Alright then. Yeah, game was great. Everything went perfectly. Everything went swimmingly. Overgrown fish, swimmingly? Yeah, sure. Match waiting confirmation. Okay, we'll wait for it then. Yeah, so, um, <coughs> as for this week, um, what day is it today? Yeah, it's Thursday, right, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, tomorrow I have one of the other games where I'm going to be a little bit less depressed, because I won't be playing this team. Um, I don't know which one I have, but I have one of them tomorrow. I think I have bronze. No, I have silver tomorrow. I have silver tomorrow. Yes, I have silver tomorrow in the evening. And there'll be a bronze game on Monday, I believe. Yeah, Monday evening. I think that's what we decided on. With El Tessi again. I guess play El Tessi for uh, a rematch. Well, not a rematch, because I'm playing as a different team, but... You know, the two of us get to play. Where is he? There he is. Bye-bye. At the very least, I'm firing him. <coughs> and we will take on a Blitzer. And we will simply call him Roman. There we go. Get our third Blitzer going. Yes, I just fired a strength for lineman. No, I'm not insane. So we'll get this other blitzer up here. And then catch it, catch it. We need one more blitzer in the team, so let's uh just rearrange this team a bit. No levels unfortunately, so you guys can't um <coughs> you can't uh redeem the level up thing. But uh, I'm just gonna rearrange the team. Alright, there we go. So, I'm going to hand this over to somebody who's still online. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, wow, lots of people. Oh, Jesus. Very many lots of people. Uh, Silky has a small crowd. don't like that idea, though, to be fair. Nothing against Silky. I just uh, It's a bit of a strange one to hand over to. Uh, Kobe. I'm going to hand over to Devil, I think. Yeah, let's go Devil. Because last time he was playing this game, he was drunk and he was really funny. Oops, it would help if I actually changed it back to Latin text, wouldn't it? I can never spell his name. What is it? It's, it's th There's lots of X's and things in it. So, X, X, Devil. With a capital D. And then, Z, Angel. And that's it. So he's playing a power wash simulator, which is a simulating game when you wash shit, I guess. Um, and uh, he's playing it with Amber, so, you know, the two of them at the same time. Uh, if you're playing it even tomorrow, probably won't be able to watch. I'm going to a friend's new house, so I guess good luck with Oh, enjoy that then. And uh, I was probably going to watch you afterwards, but uh, if you're not streaming, then obviously I won't. 
Um, shout out to Deadshots as well, you can see him in chat. Uh, follow him as usual. He's a, he's a good laugh, he's good fun. Generally speaking, he streams on Fridays, but tomorrow's with a friend, so I guess not. And um, I'll see you all guy I'll see all you guys in the next one. Thank you for hanging out, anybody who did. Thank you for watching on YouTube if you watched it after the fact. That's not gonna last much longer probably, but I appreciate it. Have a good evening. Bye bye for now.